Let's now explore one example of a fuzzy inference system. Adjusting the washing time of a washing machine based on two inputs, dirt level and cloth load. This example highlights how fuzzy logic handles uncertainty in day-to-day -day application. Hello everyone, welcome to Being Passionate Learner. I hope you all are doing well. I'm Dr. Padmapani Tribhuvan. In this video, I'm going to discuss fuzzy logic and fuzzy inference systems in artificial intelligence. By the end of this video, you will understand how fuzzy logic helps us to solve real world problems and how fuzzy inference system works. Let's begin with an overview. We will start by understanding fuzzy sets and membership functions. We will see how fuzzy logic is applied in reasoning and decision making. Then we will discuss what a fuzzy inference system or an FIS is, its components and the steps involved in fuzzy inference. We will also solve an example using fuzzy inference. Lastly, we will explore its applications in real world systems. So let's get started. Fuzzy logic is a mathematical approach to handle uncertainty. Unlike classical logic which deals strictly with true or false, Fuzzy logic allows for degree of truth. Fuzzy logic is built on the concept of fuzzy sets. Fuzzy sets generalize classical sets by allowing partial memberships. A fuzzy set is a collection of elements with varying degree of membership, which is represented by a membership function. Membership is expressed with values in the range 0 to 1. In Crips set, the definition is absolute and binary. An element either belongs to set or it doesn't. There is no middle ground. Here the Crips set defines tall as anyone who is 6 feet or more. If a person is a 6 feet tall, then they are tall. If a person is less than 6 feet, for example, let's say 5.9 feet, they are not tall, even if they are close to the threshold. In a fuzzy set, the definition allows for partial membership represented by degree of membership values which are ranging from 0 to 1. Here the fuzzy set defines tall as a gradual concept where a person's height belongs to tall set with varying degrees. A person who is 5.5 feet tall is 80% tall so membership would be 0 0.8. A person who is 6 feet tall is fully tall. So membership would be 1.0. A person who is 6.5 feet tall is 90% tall. Membership would be 0.9. Instead of being rigid, fuzzy sets allows for ambiguity and gradual transitions. Now let's discuss membership functions. Membership functions are the cornerstone of fuzzy set. They quantify the degree to which an element belongs to a fuzzy set. Membership functions are often represented graphically. The x-axis represents the domain of the input variable, let's say for example temperature and y-axis represents the membership degree. Here you can see different types of membership functions like triangular, trapezoidal and Gaussian functions. Now let's discuss fuzzy reasoning. Fuzzy reasoning is a method that extends classical logical reasoning. Instead of binary true or false outcomes, it works with degree of truth. This allows it to handle real world situations where sharp boundaries doesn't exist. How does it work? Fuzzy reasoning relies on if then rules. For example, we might have a rule like if the temperature is high and the humidity is high, then the fan speed should be high. So here fuzzy logic combines the inputs like temperature and humidity, maps them to fuzzy sets and then uses operators like AND or OR to infer the conclusion. Even if temperature is 70% high and humidity is 80% high, fuzzy reasoning will proportionately calculate the fan speed, blending these inputs smoothly. One of the biggest advantages of fuzzy reasoning is its ability to deal with vague or incomplete information. 
This makes it ideal for solving complex and real world problems. Now let's discuss fuzzy inference system. A fuzzy inference system or FIS is a decision making framework that uses fuzzy logic principles. It allows us to handle uncertainty and partial truths while mapping inputs to outputs. It allows us to map inputs to outputs using fuzzy rules and it handles uncertainty and partial truth. For example, an air conditioner may decide its cooling level based on temperature and humidity. Components of FIS FIS consists of four key components fuzzification interface, rule base, inference engine, and defuzzification interface. Fuzzification interface converts crisp input into fuzzy sets. Rule base contains a set of if then rules that govern the system. Inference engine evaluates the rules and derives fuzzy outputs. Defuzzification interface converts fuzzy output back into a crisp value. These components work together to handle uncertainty and make decisions. Now let's discuss steps in fuzzy inference. The process of fuzzy inference involves four key steps, fuzzification, rule evaluation, aggregation, and defuzzification. In fuzzification, we transform crisp inputs into fuzzy values. Then in rule evaluation, the fuzzy rules are applied to evaluate the inputs. Aggregation, in aggregation, we combine the results of all the rules into a single fuzzy output. Defuzzification. Finally, we convert the fuzzy output into a crisp value. Now, let's make this clear with an example. Let's now explore one example of a fuzzy inference system. Adjusting the washing time of a washing machine based on two inputs, dirt level and cloth load. This example highlights how fuzzy logic handles uncertainty in day to day application. In this system, we have inputs dirt level which is classified as low medium and high then cloth load which is classified as light medium and heavy then output is washing time which is classified as a short medium and long for instance dirt level could be 70 percent medium and 30 percent high depending on the condition of the clothes similarly Cloth load could be a mix of light and heavy. Instead of making hard decisions, fuzzy logic blends these degrees of membership to calculate the washing time. Next, we define the fuzzy rules to link inputs to the output. Here are the rules. If dirt level is low and cloth load is light, then washing time is short. If dirt level is high or cloth load is heavy then washing time is long if dirt level is medium and cloth load is medium then washing time is medium these rules are combined to determine the washing time based on the fuzzy conditions now let's go through an example suppose dirt level is 70 percent medium and 30 percent high cloth load is 80 percent heavy so here how we process it First, fuzzify the inputs. Dirt level is 70% medium and 30% high. And cloth load is 80% heavy. Then we will apply the rules. Rule 1 says no contribution. As dirt level is equals to low and cloth load is equals to light, do not match. Rule 2, washing time is long. It is triggered by 30% high dirt level and 80% heavy cloth load. Result is combine the maximum value which is 80%. Then rule 3 which is washing time is medium. It is triggered by 70% which is medium dirt level and assumes medium cloth load. Result is combined with medium washing time 70%. Aggregate results. Now combine contributions for medium and long washing times. Next step is defuzzify the output. Using the centroid method, calculate a crisp washing time for example 45 minutes. Now let's discuss applications of fuzzy inference systems or FIS 
FIS is widely used in various domains ranging from household appliances to advanced artificial intelligence systems. Let's look at how FIS is used in control systems. First, washing machines. Washing machines use FIS to determine the washing time based on the dirt level and the load size. For example, if the clothes are only slightly dirty, then the washing machine will automatically reduce the washing time to save energy and water. Second example is autonomous cars. In autonomous vehicles, FIS helps control speed, steering and braking based on inputs like road conditions, distance from obstacles and traffic rules. For instance, FIS can decide how much to slow down when approaching a sharp turn by combining fuzzy inputs like slippery road and sharp curve ahead. Now moving to artificial intelligence, FIS plays a vital role in making machines smarter and more adaptive. First example is natural language processing. FIS helps systems interpret vague and ambiguous statements in human language. For example, in a voice assistant, fuzzy logic helps understand imprecise commands like turn on the lights a bit brighter. Then second example is expert systems. In expert systems, FIS is used to make decisions in complex, uncertain environment. Finally, let's discuss some other fields where FIS has made a significant impact. First example, medicine. In healthcare, FIS is used for diagnosing diseases and recommending treatments. For example, a fuzzy diagnostic system can evaluate symptoms like slight fever and moderate fatigue to identify the probability of an illness. Finance. In financial sector, FIS is used for risk assessment and decision making. For instance, it evaluates fuzzy inputs like market volatility and credit worthiness to access the risk level of a loan or investment. So with this, we reach to end of this video. In this video, we discussed fuzzy logic, fuzzy inference systems, and walked through a solved example. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more contents. If you have questions or suggestions, please drop them in comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Till then, being passionate learner, keep learning.